Hello, dear Cancers. Welcome to the Venus Retrograde reading for October to November 1st of this current year. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use my very special cards. If you guys are wanting a personal reading from me, hit me up in the emails below. Of course. Everything's in the description below, and if there's anything else you need to know, I'll let you know from there. I'll even give you instructions. No worries. Um, just so you guys know, I'm Prego, and I'm really super excited. I think I'm having a Gemini, because they keep saying June something, but every time I count it, I'm coming up to July, and I keep thinking, well, I'm probably be better off with a Cancer than I would a Gemini, but no, it keeps coming up Gemini, so it's like, fuck, I'm having a Gemini, and like, I'm a Capricorn. So I don't know how that's going to work out, because they changed their minds so many times. Ah. Oh dear, that came out right quick. What were these? Oh my. Alright, look at right? False offer, like a replica of an offer, like, not, like, imagine going into your house and looking at all your stuff, but really realizing everything that's in your home is a replica of the real thing, right? That kind of creepiness, right? Like, it's not authentic, but it's almost one. And then here's the Hierophant, possibly Taurus, right? Because this is Taurus's card. Possibly someone who, ex maybe even excommunication, but somebody who sets the rules, being a little bit too dickish about it, being like really d tyrannical. Like, you know, maybe the head of the household, maybe someone who's in charge of traditions and values, someone who is the main source of stability in house or whatever. What's that? Oh my god, what? Oh my god, my phone is just full of so much crap anymore. Oh, cool. Someone, like, loves my humor. It makes me happy. At least I'm not the only one who finds my shit funny. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I had to get that. That was important. Ah, uh, but yeah, but over here, because of this, the tower's getting delayed when it comes to some relationship of some sort. It's like, huh, a false offer with someone like, I like I almost feel like someone wants to, um, dictate what is and isn't virtuous. But it isn't working out for them with this situation of two people being connected to each other, right? Like, could be romantic, could be anything else, but it's like, this isn't a real offer, this isn't helping, this is getting delayed, and the, dealing with this? Does that make sense, I guess? I mean, I'm not sure. Like... That one's kind of confusing. <laughs> like, these cards are new to me. I'm just learning how to read them, but I'm starting to get better at it. But we're doing a different spread, and it's for the retrograde, right? So it's going to be like, there's going to be three cards in the center. Talks about how you're feeling. One side to the other. And we got two possible thingies, and then how you deal with the thingies. Or, you'll understand what I'm talking about, because, like, honestly, like, I've only been up for, like, maybe two hours tops, and I'm still not awake yet. But then again, I, it's not like I can drink a lot of coffee anyway. Which is, like, ugh. My child loves chocolate, though. Chocolate is the save-all when I have tummy aches. <laughs> Don't know why, but I'm starting to really get tired of chocolate. <laughs> okay, so we'll get started with yours, Cancer. No whammies. All right, let's see what the cards have for you. So, in the center we got, ah, possibly enabling behaviors, eight of pentacles reversed. Seems like a lot of the tarot decks I have, like, they always have this is more enabling than, like, the seven. Or maybe I'm getting, no, yeah, I'm right. Right or right has seven as a plant, like that. So, yeah, this could be, um, what the fuck symbol? I'm not sure whose symbol that is. Maybe it's... 
Yeah, I'm not sure who this dad is, but it's like... Growth, sprouting. Might be Virgo's card, but I don't know. Could be. I've never seen Virgo's symbol made like that, though. But, I'm, but that's the only one that looks like an M, as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, uh... Like, someone put some fruit in, but, like, the fruit's rotting on the branches before you even get it out, or you let it sit there for too long. On this side is Queen of Princess of Cups. Could be you, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone offering their emotions up. Maybe in an immature way. Sure. But they're still offering what they can up. Then on this side, we have someone's not happy with the sun reverse. Could deal with Leo. Oh, but I see you crab in there, so it could- Oh, that's actually all the zodiacs, so, like, it's like, happiness is kind of upside down, and you're at the very top of that, Cancer. And there's Capricorn at the very bottom. Huh. Right on top of the sun, but you're on the bottom, so. Huh. You guys- There you go. Okay. So on this side, we have- the Empress, someone isn't being as nurturing, or as motherly, or as kind. Maybe somebody um, is a mom, and they're not tapping into their energies very much. Or maybe they just, or, or maybe it could be you, Cancer, emulating that, like, mother sign, because you're the mother sign of the Zodiac, and you're kind of doing the whole shunning thing when you're upset with somebody. Which is, like, I don't understand what that's supposed to do at all. I'm a Capricorn, so it doesn't make any sense to me, but it's whatever. Uh, and then we got, like, a Queen of, Pen Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, she isn't even looking in any way. Like, she's kind of looking at, actually, she's looking at the left, right? So that's more like the past. Because that's where her shit is. That's where everything she owns is belong. It's barren. But she's still proud. She holds a wand, showing that she is passionate. And that wand's very special with a very special rock. This is where Earth signs. That's kind of groovy. She's got a little goat that sits on something, and if it doesn't like you, it'll headbutt you the fuck out of her yard. <laughs> She's very, um, standout-ish, right? Whereas this, uh, Knight of Pentacles looks very stone-like, but it's definitely offering that cup with a turtle in it. Like, this is my pet turtle. I love it. I call him Steve. Or Stevie Weezy. <laughs> So with this second cup going here. Oh, feet. But upside down, it's like... Ah, I don't know if it's like outright defeat as much as it is surrendering or like... Like if it's reverse in the right or right, it's like they're dealt with like some manipulations too. And regret. So maybe it's like you won the battle, but you lost the war. Acting like... A really shunny mother like being kind of not within your emotions not being as nurturing and kind as you should have been like maybe you had to give up somewhere and on this side with this queen of pentacles we have an actual offer a real offer like everyone else like i think there was some like there was only two people who got like this is a genuine offer and you're one of them i can't remember if it was um aries or taurus but this is like a genuine offer with this Queen of Pentacles. When it comes to this unhappiness and what was laid out. It's like somebody planted this and it's been rotting ever since. Like, almost like somebody did something to cause this plant to wilt and wallow. Then on this side, we have the Tower. Like, old things come crashing down, so something can be built anew. Like, look at that. Like, someone opened their mouth and just destroyed the building. And now people are falling out and crashing to their death. Well, there's an observer all the way up here. And, like, a, 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 like a, a sea dragon horse or a, a seahorse dragon or whatever. You know? Like, look at all this chaos. Look at all this fire. Look at all of this... Ah, like just catastrophe, red and orange and yellow all over, just disaster. This is such a weird fucking reading. 
Because, like, it, these are the only ones that I've had a little bit so far that are almost very contradictory. On this side, science, like, with this offer from a Queen of Pentacles, she's looking for a reason to stay. Ah. Huh. Ironic. I got you now. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles was offering something genuine and was looking for a reason to stay, like science, like maybe something got screwed up. Maybe there's an explanation that can't... I want to say because this is an upside down cross, it's like a lack of faith. You know, like... She makes this offer, but she doesn't think that, like, it's going to do anything. But she is waiting, almost, for a reason to stay, too, because this is the Six of Swords reversed. Like, maybe she left for calmer waters, but she wants a reason to come back. I don't know. What goes down... And this is all between, like, some rotting tree where someone's going to offer some feelings. Maybe they're being immature about how they're doing it, and someone over here being, like, not entirely happy with this scenario. Like, the tree branched off this way. And like two fucking complete sectors, right? So with this one, what goes with this Empress not giving any real nurturing, even though there's an offering of emotions with this tree getting torn down? Oh, a lot of interference with it. That's why. There's interference with, like, her mind is all scrambled, and that's why she can't be nurturing. And I feel like with this tree, like, this offer of love is like, or whatever this offer is, whether it's genuine. I don't know. I know it's immature. Um, that's not helping with interference e either. It's like... It's like someone wants to open up, but they're so busy living in their head about whatever that, like, they aren't being kind enough to open up. Like, they don't care to. Or they're demonstrating they don't care. With their actions, maybe. And this side with this Queen of Pentacles... Um, Queen of Cups, someone who is emotionally manipulative, is on this side with the tree rotting and this unhappiness, which actually kind of goes over the Capricorn one, so maybe this is why this queen's up here. There might have been some emotional manipulation somewhere, there might have been somebody doing something to cause maybe the queen to turn her head away and that makes sense but she's still offering something because she's waiting to see if she's proven wrong i guess that's what i would think like science to a point of um bigotry right just using it almost like a religion like people do on the internet look but she's still looking for a reason to be proven wrong with this offer i think on this side someone's hanging on to something even though they really shouldn't be just for the martyr complex, you know, like someone isn't letting something go. And that's why they won a battle, but they're losing the war. Like so deep in their emotions that like... It's like this side's so deep in their emotions that like they aren't paying attention to the emotions. And this side's so deep with being not in their happy place. It's like... They want to try, but they don't have a reason to, you know? Neither is this side either, Cancer. And on this side, oh, someone was looking for establishing wealth, establishing family, establishing something within the offer. Like, they want to offer this, even though they're still sad, maybe. Then on this side, ah, the role maker, the Hierophant. Person making the rules, offering the real feelings, and possibly causing the tower to come down, finally. Maybe this is their expression in all of this, you know? And maybe, on this side, this is what the sadness is. Speaking of this side, there's completion as well. Home. This is just, someone wants to establish the home, and I feel like someone wants to come back home with the Four of Wands, you know? Someone wants to be comfortable again, I feel like. As they look for a reason to stay. 
right? Great. So, let us see. The hell of freshness. Yeah, I dropped. Oh, yeah, I dropped more than three. Okay, so this first one is there was fighting for the sake of fighting. It caused a lot of strife. But this knight of swords might come in saying something. He's coming in charge for battle. He's got something he wants to run into with his knives and just start something, right? He Like, he's riding into battle. And this deals with mentality. This deals with um being sharp. This deals with, like, even cutting people down who are causing issues or in pain or whatever. This is somebody who was like in the throes of like a f fighting mentality and is ready to cut someone down if they say the wrong thing. Or they're willing to take a challenge, you know, like they're mouthy. Which, you know, if people are mouthy, like, I, I don't know, I'd rather have someone be mouthy to me than someone like be quiet because then it is it, just like, you know, mm, something's up there. Oh, and it's a burden, like, Someone's burdened with a bunch of words, and that's what's causing a lot more fighting than what it should be. And then on this side, someone needs to come to some sort of decision, but they're not doing that. Like, and it's pointing down to the rule maker and this interference. Like, do you want interference, or do you want this person to be... I guess, because this came up earlier, reverse. I guess, do you want all this static all of this nothingness or do you want the person to be who they were i mean are you hanging out waiting to see if someone becomes somebody they're not because that's not entirely fair like you can't expect people to um be the way you want them to be because like if you're gonna do that then like did you really care about them at all probably not like people change for themselves they don't change for other people if you expect people to change for you, then, like, you're really demanding way too much from people than what you're demanding for yourself, I guess. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I would never change anybody. I'll just leave you alone and never speak to you again until you unfuck yourself. Like, because I feel like that's more fair than, like, me telling you you gotta change yourself. Like, you have to do that on your own. Who am I to tell you? It's like judging somebody, right? I'm not gonna sit there and judge somebody and tell them what... They should be doing with their lives. I'll give you advice. But, um... Trying to get you to be somebody you're not, that's not fair. You know, like, I don't want anyone changing me. I wouldn't do it to anybody else. Oh. Here's something coming in with the... Prince of Discs. It might be slow, but he is writing in. Could be, like, this... Queen of Discs, maybe. Um, Capricorn Order is Virgo. Could be the same, but they're on opposite sides, so I'm not entirely sure. But... Possibly riding in with something to offer. It's pretty fucking slow. Oh, and here's somebody manifesting with the, the magus. The magician. Trying to make things happen. Like, something's coming in slow. And that's why someone can't come to a decision. Here's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Maybe even a new mind principle or maybe even a new perspective. Maybe opening up eyes of some sort. But, you know, like, here is the Prince of Wands. Also the King of Wands. Reverse. Someone's acting like a spoiled King Prince. Little bitch. Okay, and you've actually got two cards, which is... People coming against you, possibly, with the Six of Wands with Leo Energy. Like, feeling like a spoiled Princess Brat? Or Prince Brat? Whatever one. And, um, maybe feeling a little bit angry that, like, people aren't on your side. And then it's, like, a delusion of the lovers. Reverse. Could be Gemini, but, um, a breakup. For the most part. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's yours, Cancer, so I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.